Hello, my name is Sean and today I briefly wanted to show you what the assignment review by Feedback Fruits is and how it works. Before we even start, just in very short, the assignment review allows the teacher to give more structured and better feedback on the deliverables of his or her student. Now, this can be a video, a document or an audio. In short, um, instructors are able to create their own review criteria and make in-text annotations, and finally also push back the grading to the learning management system. How this works, let's take a look at it. Firstly, let's dive in from the student's perspective, then from the teacher's perspective, and then I'll show you briefly how we can set up such activity. Now we can see that it's integrated within the iframe of the Brightspace environment. However, it will look identical in any other learning management system as well. So at first we'd have the instructions where you as an instructor can clarify what you want the students um, to hand in or to do. We'd have the hand in step where it allows the students to hand in the assignment, then giving feedback from the teacher's side and then reading and reflecting on the feedback that you have received by the instructor. And finally, we'd have the grading. In terms of groups, we can see that we're uh, logged in the student one and we're in a group of students six and seven. You could also have this as an individual assignment. Now, in the second step, we hand in our assignment, and we can do that from our hard drive or add a link from, for example, YouTube. Now, these are all of the file types that we support. If you're more interested, just stop the video and give it a look. In the third step, it's um, getting the feedback from the teacher, which we'll see from the teacher side. And the fourth step is looking at the feedback that we've received from the instructor. Now, to, we can see that we still have one unread comment by the instructor, and we can open up and see what this is. So this is the assignment that our group has handed in, and we can see that the instructor has placed three comments. Comments on setup and equipment care with specific requirements, and one comment. So for example, here I noticed that you are used the wrong setup. Could you please elaborate on that? And we can see that the teacher has highlighted to page one, so we want to see what comment that is we can click on it and we can see that it's opened up here i already made a comment but i could make another comment for example explaining what i have done adding a voice recording or also an attachment and i can give it an output which we already have now in safety this is the unread comment we can see that in terms of safety we didn't we did do a good job here however the teacher also added another article for us to read to improve our assignment in future so this is how we can see all of our feedback. Additionally, we could download it as a PDF. Now, when that's done, we can go to the next step, which is reflecting on the feedback that we've received. Now, this is something that we have added quite recently because we noticed that it's not in human nature to actually take a step back and reflect on the feedback that we've received. However, it's one of the most important parts of the learning process. Now, to ensure that actually students can take a step back and reflect on what they've actually read, we have this reflection report, which the teacher can specify um, in the text what he wants the student to reflect on. You can say, uh, I reflect on X, Y, Z, I noticed, I learned, we can submit it. Last of all, we have the grading, which is um, as transparent as possible. And we can see the ratings that we've received by the teacher on the rubrics that we have previously seen. On this note, let us jump over to the teacher side of things. Welcome back, this time from a teacher side of things. And here I quickly want to highlight the core differences between the student and the teacher side of things and how we can set up this assignment. Now, as an instructor, you get the overall student progress. So you can see how students are performing um, in terms of overall grading, whether they've read the instructions, whether they've handed in the assignment. Now we can see that group two and group three have handed in the assignment, whereas group one has not handed in the assignment. Additionally, we could download all of this data in an Excel file, including the grading. Here we can download all of the submissions as a bunch if we wanted to, and we could also have further control of who handed in the files, for example. The third step is giving feedback to the students that have handed in their work and we can see whether we've completed the review or whether we still need to do the review. Now, 
we looked at group number three, so let's review group number three again. Here we can again see the comments that we've placed. And if we want to place another comment, for example, the title, we can just highlight the title. Same as this from the student, we get the highlight, can add this part. I noticed X, Y, Z. Select the applicable criteria, and then we could add it as a complement. Now, in terms of criteria, the teacher has full flexibility on which predefined criteria he or she would want to have. We could A, have a rubric, which has specific requirements for the steps to make it easier for the teachers to, to grade, but also easier for the students to understand what they've been graded on. We could have a Likert scale, which is uh, on a zero to 10 or any other um, scale as well. Or we could have a common criteria. For each of these review criteria, you can also add comments. All right. So once we have added all of our comments for the, for the students, we can go back. Now in the next step, we can see what the students have read the feedback that we've provided to them and if they have how long they've spent. So for example, in group one, only student one has looked at the feedback that we've given and only for one minute, we can see the comments that have been placed, whether the reflection report has been written, which we have in the student side of, of things. However, we can see that no other student has written a reflection or actually opened up the feedback. In the last step, we can publish the grades and the things back to the Brightspace um, gradebook, but also to the gradebook of any other learning management system as well. Um, here again, we can, in case there's anything, you can always have an optional grade adjustment per student um, in case someone deserves a bonus point or there needs to be a point deduction. In terms of setup, we go over here on the added mode, we add the instructions, we can choose whether it's an individual assignment, um, a group assignment, or individually but shown as a group. Um, we sync with the groups from the Brightspace um, LMS, but also from groups from any other LMS as well. Uh, we can specify whether there's um, requirements for the submission. We can have a deadline. We could also choose which file types we want students to hand in and how many files we want students to hand in. In terms of giving the feedback, we can change the review criteria over here. So for example, if we want to add another one, we could insert a new criteria and then specify what it is and we could also specify the points. Okay, let's delete it to go back. All right, in addition, we can choose when we want students to see their received feedback. Um, we can choose whether we want to be rated by the students on how we have given them feedback and whether students are supposed to write a reflection report and we can specify how many words this is what we want students to reflect on and we can have a second deadline over here. The last point is the grading that we can specify. And for example, here, we can specify that we would want to have the review criteria set up in equipment care uh, devalued at more points than following procedure. So the teacher has full control on what he wants students to be graded on. And if a teacher doesn't want to have grading at all, he can also opt for a formative assessment by just taking out the, the grading. And well, this is it. And then we save it. This is how it looks from a teacher side of things. I hope this was helpful for you. And yeah, bye bye.